Good afternoon, and welcome to Wizards World. I am Jim Rodondi. Today, Megan Edelman with Silver Sea Cruises returns to tell us all about their luxurious ways of sailing the oceans of the world, when they will start protocols in place, expeditions, and much more. As a reminder, we would appreciate it if you mute yourself so there's no background noise during the presentation. And if you have any questions, please use the chat box and we will get to your questions at the end. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the presentation. Take it away, Megan. Thank you, Jim, and thank you so much for having me. Um, again, my name is Megan Edelman with Silver Sea Cruises, and I am so excited to be speaking to all of you today. A large reason for that is, Jim, I think I gotta grab those controls back from you just so I can, there we go. Um, we are returning to sailing. We have passengers in the water on vessels in the water. I know we've all been waiting so patiently for this and we are so excited to be hosting travelers again. So right now we have um, cruises going in Greece and the Galapagos and then we're starting next month in Alaska and Iceland. So we are actually the only um, luxury supplier that's going to end. To be honest, there are not a lot of suppliers were able to get this turnaround um, to be able to run trips in Alaska, but we successfully were able to do that. So it's close to home. It's a beautiful destination. Of course, the wildlife is so lovely and we are cruising there starting July 29th. So we're really excited about that and Iceland as well, going all the way through to Northern Light opportunities through September and October. So as of now, we're saying that October 1 is going to be the official date that you can book an itinerary and it will 100% be that sailing itinerary. As countries open, we just keep adding new itineraries and adding new trips. Um, on all of these sailings, we require a vaccination. You must see a vaccine. You must be a vaccinated traveler, even if you're traveling with a young person or a child. Um, the reason that that is, it's not a blanket statement for Silver Sea moving forward. It is simply the law and the rules of these destinations that we're visiting. They actually funded the vaccination of our entire crew. And so the governments are saying for anyone to have landings here and for the vessels to run successful trips, everyone must be vaccinated on the vessel, but the great, um, reasoning behind that is that if someone does test positive for COVID, they can kind of just treat it like someone who has the flu and they can go to the infirmary. Everyone doesn't need to quarantine because everyone's vaccinated. So it's um, kind of this rule by the CDC that gives a lot more freedom to the vessel being, you know, continuing their itinerary and um, having a successful trip. So that's very exciting. Um, so we are back in the water and we cannot wait um, shore excursions are included on in every single one of these itineraries, um, and they're, of course, curated um, between ourselves and these beautiful destinations that we visit. So what sets Silver Sea apart? This is one of my favorite pieces to share with potential travelers. Um, my mom worked for Pan Am, and I grew up traveling a lot, and I'm kind of a geography nerd. Um, I majored in Spanish, and I love multiculturalism and travel. Um, we go to about three times as many ports of call than any other cruise line in the world. Uh, the next closest to us um, is Holland America with 408 ports of call. We go to 998. So if you talk about our competitors like Regent or Seaborn or Crystal, really high and all-inclusive cruise lines, they're going to about a third as many ports of call. So when you think of the breadth of destination, um, we are the kings and queens of storytelling, of destination storytelling, of making you feel when you are cruising with Silver Sea that you are completely um, engulfed in the local culture, the local destination. And the way that we do that is the size of our vessels. So we have all of our vessels are between 100 and about 600 travelers. Um, depending on the destination, all of our expedition are under 300. So it's the size of our vessels that can access all these ports of call. We also have about to one to one crew to guest ratio. So you're never waiting to get your cocktail. You're never waiting um, for your appetizer service. You're, there are crew everywhere to constantly keep up this level and echelon of service that we take a lot of pride in. And that is much higher than a lot of our competitors. And then lastly, we have the largest square footage. So our smallest suite size on some of our older vessels and 
most they've all been refurbished but are about 376 square feet as we make new builds the suites get larger and larger but never internal never internal suites never portholes not even small windows all of our vessels are going to have a separate seating area um, and 99% of them are gonna have a, a, their own private veranda. So we go to the most amount of places on the smallest vessels with the fewest people with the most amount of space and the most amount of hands-on service. So that is a huge difference, especially when you are springing for um, an experience like this, you wanna make sure that you are getting that, um, that echelon of luxury that you are expecting. So talking about accessing ports, Silver Sea does this completely different than any of our competitors, really only private yachts access um, these ports of call the way that we do. So um, for example, when we dock in St. Petersburg, we are the only cruise line that docks right downtown at the British Embankment. You can walk out on your veranda, have coffee in the morning, and you're overlooking the Hermitage. You are right downtown in the heart of St. Petersburg, you know, brought over and have a coffee and learn all about um, the czars and Anastasia and the whole interesting history of St. Petersburg. Unlike all of our other competitors are docking 30 minutes outside of the city, you have to take a bus, and we overnight there. And so many of these ports of call all over Europe, largely, and really actually every other continent, we spend more time in destinations. So when you look at a list of our um, included shore excursions or what have you, they're going to give you such more time to really experience multiple experiences and see the destination much more fully. Because again, we are the destination storytellers. Um, when you pick, you wanna go on a cruise, you know, you're talking about, I wanna go to the Baltics. I wanna go to Australia and New Zealand. I wanna go to Galapagos. It's a destination choice. And so we wanna support that. And we like to joke that this is as formal as it gets on an expedition uh, cruise if you're traveling with Silver Sea. Um, of course, that's going to be our a very casual line because it is, um, I wouldn't say a rugged experience, but you are going off more of the beaten path. You're going to be, you know, through the Seychelles in um, off the coast of Africa or Antarctica or the polar regions. Of course, no paved roads. It's really flora, fauna, marine life, um, you know, beautiful vistas, glaciers, uh, things like that. So uh, really casual, but a really great highlight is getting you up close and personal with whatever is highlighted in the destination. Of course, in Antarctica, it's their incredible penguin colonies. Um, this is actually a photo taken by our expedition director who was um, in Antarctica a few years ago. They're on our Zodiacs, eight passengers to a Zodiac, two expedition leaders per Zodiac. So you get incredible hands-on experiences. There were hundreds of humpback whales bubble feeding all around these zodiacs. So again, we are really trying to highlight the destination. Our hardware and our vessels are beautiful, but your memories are going to be your experiences and why that destination became so close to your heart. Um, again, talking about getting up close and personal, more of a cosmopolitan direction, but this is um, us going under the Tower Bridge in the heart of London. We are the only supplier that offers this, again, because of our boutique cruise size, our wind is just um, 225 passengers. So when you think about that experience, you're not a thousand people stopping in you know, Budapest, Hungary, if you're on a river cruise, you're getting this intimate access to places. So when you're 200, 250 passengers getting off in these iconic destinations, that is very different than two, 3,000 people getting off on some of our competitors or other cruise lines. Um, so our fleet is really expanding. Um, even if you've tried our product in the past, in the last four or five years, we have evolved tremendously. Um, and a lot of that is our hardware. Um, we are now part of the Royal Caribbean group um, and we really kind of needed that financial backing to give our existing vessels a facelift and get a whole new fleet um, to service different destinations and really speak to our audience and have that beautiful, fresh, new, gorgeous float floating resort that we want our travelers to become accustomed to. So in case you've been on us five years ago, we have changed every single vessel in our fleet has been redone. And we have five new builds, three in the water now and two coming out next year. So we are kind of a, a different cruise line in many ways. Um, this is another great example. I like to say excellence without the formality. Um, you know, we are an all-inclusive luxury six-star service cruise line. 
but we don't want it to be stuffy, right? We want you to feel at home. We want you to feel like you're enjoying your vacation. Um, and so maybe five, four, four or five years ago, if you, um, on a week long sailing, there'll be one formal night and 12 days or longer, it'll be two formal nights. We used to require you to wear a suit and jacket to go out to dinner. Now we have multiple dining venues, um, La Teresa and The Grill. The Grill is this beautiful outdoor uh, space that you get all of your, you made to order proteins and vegetables and it's cooked on hot lava stones right at your table by our team. Um, and our executive chef designs the menu to be local, um, you know, every few days. So these are, you know, country club casual slacks and a button up. So you don't need to bring a suit jacket. Um, you don't need to dress up on your vacation if you don't want to. So I think that's a really big evolution in the luxury space of really trying to, um, you know, define your luxury and understanding that not everybody wants to have that, that formal dress code. So we're being, we're kind of evolving as the industry evolves as well. So kind of what's new with Silver Sea, of course, aside from returning to sail is all these beautiful new builds that we have. Um, you can say when you sail on the moon that you went to the moon <laughs> and discovered a new world. Um, it's a beautiful new vessel. It's um, under 600 passengers, 596. And we're really moving away from that kind of outdated country club, maroon drab curtains and dark wood and um, kind of not a, a warm, inviting atmosphere. We've really moved to velvets, greens, and earth tones, and grays, and uh, really the sleek kind of sophisticated style that all of our new builds are reflecting, and all of our existing vessels have kind of been refashioned to replicate. So we want your suite to be your home away from home. This is our veranda, suite on the moon, um, our basic entry-level suite. Um, you know, double vanity, marble bathroom, clawfoot tub, um, private veranda, separate seating area, uh, fresh flowers and champagne and caviar upon arrival, your pillow menu, um, you know, a butler service in every suite, Wi-Fi. Um, we want you to feel really comfortable and really be able to enjoy your vacation and know that you can spread out. So again, as a reminder of any of our competitors in any cruise line, we have the largest square footage of suite. So that really matters. I know that I've cruised many times and traveled on a vessel or um, on land and space is so lovely when you're you know, taking, taking time to be away from your home. So on our new builds, we also are, have evolved a new culinary um, food and beverage program. And so this, um, the name of the program is SALT. It stands for Sea and Land Taste. Uh, it is not salty food, I promise. <laughs> it is much more evolved than that. And salt is going to be a salt lab where you do experimental cooking, salt kitchen, which has an evolving menu to represent the local indigenous cuisine, herbs, um, culinary scene that's there. And it's a rotating menu in every port of call. And then the salt bar, which is gonna be the same thing, but from a beverage side. So if you're stopping in, um, Valparaiso, Chile, you'll have a Chilean sea bass paired with a Carmenere that's local. Or if you're stopping in Lima, you'll have a, do a ceviche cooking class. And then in the bar, you'll be able to have a Pisco, local Pisco sour with local Pisco. So it's all about whatever destination you are visiting. We are bringing the shoreside experience from a culinary food and beverage perspective onto the onboard experience. So you really feel completely um, involved in your, um, in your cruising experience to that destination. So I have a little video for you about this great program. <laughs> Food is a voyage that speaks to the soul of the traveler, right at the heart of every culture on earth. It's the most memorable part of any journey. Silver Sea is proud to introduce our unique sea and land taste program, SALT, a vibrant new way to experience local food, tradition and spirits hands-on. Welcome to our interactive SALT lab on board. You'll touch, smell, and try out local ingredients and flavors and tastings and sessions with chefs and experts from each destination. Enjoy Salt Kitchen. We bring you a dining experience where the traditions, recipes, and cultures of your destination are brought right to your table. Join us at Salt Bar for freshly mixed locally inspired drinks made with the best local ingredients and spirits. 
This is Salt, a unique travel and food experience where we bring the flavors of your destination right to your table. Salt, sea and land taste by Silver Sea. Um, I haven't had dinner yet, so that made me very hungry. Um, I love these videos. I think it's about sight and smell and being completely engulfed in the beauty of a destination and in so many ways experiencing a culture is enjoying their cuisine and beverages. So this is our salt bar, um, world renowned mixologists and you know local using local indigenous ingredients. So we're so excited about this. It's on the moon and the dawn and we plan to be on the new builds next year as well. So the origin, I don't know if anyone joined me for my previous presentation with Travel Wizards about Galapagos. So I'm gonna to touch on this briefly but it's our brand new 100 passenger, 91 crew, a custom expedition vessel purely designed for the Galapagos. So it really reads kind of like a luxury mega yacht because it only has 100 travelers. Um, really high tech. Again, we're moving our new builds to be interactive and really um, capturing the tech language that, that we've you know, become more accustomed to. And so having 360 degree recordings of our marine life and being able to record our landings and kind of uh, the expedition team to meet you in the mornings and rewalk through what you missed or what you want to re-experience from the day before. So interactive touch screen to kind of you know, um, really interact and engage with the entire uh, set of islands here. Uh, again, the blues, the grays, the really sleek, sexy, um, 360 degree views. We don't want you to miss anything here. And uh, the Silver Sea is, if the Silver Sea, excuse me, the Galapagos is constantly teeming with life. So um, at Silver Sea, we want you to be able to see that at all times. Um, that is why we have horizon balconies in every single suite. Of course, every cabin is a suite. We don't say cabin, we say suites because that is all that we offer. Um, of course, butler service with every category for all of our vessels. Um, and this vessel's brand new. It just had its first sailing. Our expedition director was down there and she said it was amazing. The expedition team and the staff is just so elated to be hosting travelers again. That's their number one export. So buying, you know, creating business to all these destinations is good for the destinations as well. Um, so we are also those who've sailed with us in the past, um, starting in June of 2021, all of, excuse me, 22, June of 22, next year, about a year away, we will officially be including economy air and shore excursions in all of our sailings. Presently, expedition sailings include shore excursions because those are zodiacs and their landings on obscure islands or going to see the polar bears. So they're not, you know, the cosmopolitan destinations, but we wanted to move towards a more in all inclusive lifestyle and just giving you everything up front so you don't have to worry about a thing financially once you arrive at our experiences. So, um, like I said, Expedition always had shore excursions included, but now our classic style cruises um, starting in June of 2022 will include Economy Air and shore excursions, and of course, Economy Air on all of our sailings as well. Um, just to be clear, this summer, the Greek sailings, my first slide, Greece. Um, going to Iceland, Alaska, and um, Galapagos, those shore excursions will be included because the CDC requires it. So not to be confused with us moving forward in um, including shore excursions, summer 21, all shore excursions included, and then they will not be included until June of 22 again. And if you have any questions about that, of course, Travel Wizards can help explain, and I am at their disposal to clarify any confusion. So as I mentioned, we go to almost a thousand ports of call. You see the breadth of destinations that we go to. Um, we like to say if land touches water, we go there. And so that is quite a list of beautiful options for you. I know um, many people are well-traveled and want to experience new and unique destinations or dock right downtown in an intimate setting where you're not on a huge cruise line or have multiple nights in Barcelona or other iconic places where you might have just stopped for an afternoon. So we, again, the storytellers really trying to get you up close and personal to these destinations. Um, in 22, we've released a bunch of new itineraries that we're really excited about. Um, a lot in New Zealand, Australia, which is going to be really big because, of course, we missed uh, a year there. Alaska, um, more Europe will always be a big one for us. And Japan is really big. Um, but I do want to talk about value because I think outside of 
we're all inclusive and we give this incredible opportunity to sail with Silver Sea, our price point might surprise you, um, especially because we like to say that there is a price to a trip and a cost. Ours are the same. We don't nickel and dime, Things, everything's included. So when you look at this itinerary and our lead and Vista price for a week in the Mediterranean, I liked the Mediterranean in April, May because it's not sweltering hot and the crowds aren't there. So great time this spring to visit this beautiful iconic part of the world. And our lead and Vista price is $4,500 and that includes economy error. Upgrade to business to Europe. So this is just Europe and every continent has a different price, but it's $5.99 each way. So that is an amazing deal if you could go on an all-inclusive luxury experience at that price point. So I think that's really kind of what I want to demonstrate to travelers who are either new to Silver Sea or um, have been with us in the past or have this preconceived idea about their price point. The value of what we offer is going to be second to none in the industry, and I would guarantee that. Um, so salt is also part of our on our sh um, shoreside experience. So in Portofino on that itinerary I just sho uh, shown, there's a salt um, excursion where you go to this indigenous fishing area part of Portofino and there's this like centuries old fishing style where they take these nets back and forth and there's these huge rowers and they sing kind of these old Italian songs. And you go out and you try the fishing and it's a whole shore excursion. You have a Michelin star chef that's there with you that buys this direct um, uh, fish from these purveyors. And then you go back onto uh, the salt lab, you do a cooking class and then you can enjoy your catch um, later that evening in the restaurant. So it's really about having this holistic experience from on, on the vessel to off the vessel in your destination. Again, value, nine days, air included, um, stopping with an amazing salt experience in Tangier and learning about Moroccan cooking. Lead-in price for a Vista suite is um, $55.80. So again, really demonstrating that value that's air included. Of course, we'll offer an air credit if you have points or want to use miles or anything like that. Um, and short excursions included on this one. Um, the air credit is about $900 to Europe. So if you look at this price point, Pretty incredible for an all-inclusive 10-day sailing, um, eight dining venues. We don't have a main dining room um, in our classic styles. They're all multi, um, kind of multifaceted, different. You know, we'll have we have our Japanese, we have our Italian, we have our French. So it's not a main dining room. It's like you get to have all these multi-concepts inside where you will dine throughout your experience, which is amazing. So gratuities included, suite, you know, butlers in your suite. Um, I just can, can't say enough, the value that we offer for our price point is unreal. Um, again, talking about Japan, only cruise line that stops in um, Akita and it's a small fishing village and um, a really great salt itinerary, excuse me, shore excursion there as well. Um, and the value of Japan, an extremely expensive destination. Um, and the salt program there is that we're, what we're so excited about. So many incredible cooking opportunities, so many incredible culinary um, food and beverage uh, shoreside excursions. So this is a great um, destination to experience with our salt program. Um, just to touch on that, whoop, a little too fast. If you've ever considered a world cruise and you have 139 days um, that you're free to travel, um, we just recently released our 2023 World Cruise. It's called the South Side Story and the whole part of the Southern Hemisphere. So it's from the beginning of the year because it's going to be their summer. Um, so something to consider if you've ever thought about going on a World Cruise, I'd say ours are absolutely the best. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, of course, we can talk more about it and, and Travel Wizards can educate you. Um, I want to talk about our expedition program because I mostly talked about our classic style. So at our expedition cruising, um, it is what river cruising was 10 or 12 years ago. It's the fastest growing segment of the cruise industry. And it's really evolved in the last 10 to 15 years. Um, we have been in that space for 15 years. Most of our competitors are now dabbling in it and have one or two new expedition vessels and trying to understand what are the best itineraries are. We've been doing this for 15 years. So we really know what we're doing. We have the best expedition team um, in any of these destinations. 
and you're going to get a fine dining, incredible ship side experience. So when you're on board, you're really going to have the amazing cuisine, amazing service, gorgeous dining venues, you know, gorgeous suites, all the space you need. Um, but then you can go off and do an interesting, you know, Zodiac landing in Antarctica or go birding in the Amazon. Or so it's really about unlike metropolitan cities, it's about flora, fauna, marine life, all the beautiful vistas all over our planet um, and really kind of explore, exploring the vast little crevices of places um, that maybe many years ago were not as popular to visit. So we go through the Indian Ocean, so the Maldives, the Seychelles, um, South America. We have, of course, um, Antarctica, the Arctic, um, and uh, going down the Amazon. We are the first ever cruise line to go down the Amazon River, polar regions, going to Greenland, Iceland, um, the fjords of Norway, going to see the polar bears, uh, and of course, Antarctica, which is this iconic, you know, last continent experience. The Kimberleys in Australia, um, and of course, Northern Europe, as I mentioned, Sweden and Norway. So a lot of options with expedition cruising, and we just keep adding more and more to it. Um, here's an example of one of our Seychelles expedition um, islands, you know, that I've, I've never heard of, and we have these incredible local experiences. So, um, and the vessel is quite small, so you really get this intimate onboard or access to these places. Same with the Amazon, it kind of reads like a South American safari. You're going to see leopards, incredible birding, um, going on the zodiacs to all these little isthmuses and seeing incredible swamp and wildlife in the Amazon. So if you love safari in Africa, definitely trying the Amazonian um, cruise would be incredible. So five reasons to book Silver Sea right now with Travel Wizards. We have Cruise with Confidence, which is basically 30 days out until uh, next year, you can cancel your voyage and book with 100% future cruise credit to a different voyage. Uh, we also want to make sure, you know, our cancellation penalties are fair and that we are supporting all of our clients because we know it's been a really precarious year for a lot of people, but we want you to know 30 days, up to 30 days out, you can cancel and do an FCC and uh, book your voyage for a future trip instead if, if you're feeling, you know, uncertain about your existing trip. Um, next reason, we are more all-inclusive than ever. Um, as I mentioned, air is included, shore excursions are included now um, with our expedition um, cruising. Our uh, expedition park is our incredible branded with Silver Sea, of course. Those also including all Zodiac landings and um, shoreside experiences. Um, butler service in every suite, largest suites um, on the water, gratuity included, Wi-Fi, um, premium liquor, premium wine, um, custom mini bar when you arrive. So it's really all the hands-on service and your price and your cost of this trip is gonna be the same. And of course, economy error included as well. Um, we have a reduced deposit for any 2021 cruise. We realize that people, again, it's, it's we're kind of going back into the water just now. So we will offer um, any of our 2021 cruises at 15% deposit. And then penalties don't start until 61 days out. So you have up until 60 days to get a full refund. Um, and we um, are also thinking about offering that into 2022 as well. I'm um, just really trying to engender trust and security when booking with us and Travel Wizards. Um, you're gonna get the best price if you book with Travel Wizards. Um, we have several promotions running with them at all times and opportunities to get you ship or credit or a discount on your sailings. Um, they are gonna give you the best value. And the best part is they do all the work and you just get to go on the cruise and pay a better price. So strongly advise that you book with um, your travel advisor at Travel Wizards. Also space is limited. As we all know, this 21 May cruise to Alaska was canceled, obviously. Um, we've missed out on a lot of cruising. Our occupancy for 22 is what it normally is in October. So we are booking at a rate that we're running out of space. And so if this is one of your dream trips, you don't want to hold out anymore and you want to definitely get your deposit down um, just so you can secure your suite and your desired itinerary. Um, and then we have upgraded. Our hardware is very different than it was a few years ago. I cannot tell you the night and day difference to sailing on a brand new vessel that was just built. Every nook and cranny is sparkling and it is an amazing experience to be able to 
access all of these new vessels. So we are in a really special place right now to be able to give that level of service to all of our travelers. Um, and then lastly, we love our singles. We have branded single solo sailings and they only are a 25% solo supplement. And we have a host and a hostess that organize events throughout the entire sailing that invite solo travelers to do different engaged activities um, to, they're really just branded to appeal to people who might be traveling solo, but want to meet someone nice to, to drink with one night or go do a knitting class or go have, you know, a nice shore excursion. So um, really great options for solo travelers, affordable and really customized to their desires. Um, so we end with the blue footed boobies, but um, I, I hope that you'll consider um, depositing on a sailing. I think it's great that we're back in the water and we're so excited to be hosting our travelers again. Um, and if you're interested in any sailing, please reach out to Travel Wizards and I will definitely make sure you get the best deal and are very excited to go on that itinerary with us. Well, Megan, thank you very much for a beautiful and exciting presentation. Yeah, of course. If, uh, if anybody has uh, any questions, please put them into the chat box now. Actually, I do see that there's already one there, and then I have a okay. few as well. So uh, if you don't mind, Megan, I'd like to get straight to the chat box. Let's uh, do it. Okay, and this comes from, from Lynette, and she says, in 2022, can you describe your included Hermitage excursion also, is a visa needed? And if yes, does Silver Sea help with the visa? Yes, we will assist with visas. Um, I don't know from country to we go. As I mentioned, we go to, you know, 150 or 155 countries. So I don't know the visa requirements for for every destination. But um, we definitely have a whole team that will help support you navigate that because, of course, we have travelers from. Europe and England and Australia, so it varies. So it really depends on, um, yeah, the itinerary and then, but we have a whole team that will assist with that, absolutely. Okay, and then, you know, I like the, the fact that you said you have the most ports of call. I mean, that just, to me, means that you probably have something for everybody. There is yeah, something absolutely. really out there that everybody can enjoy. So, you know, you know, maybe, maybe Alaska isn't their thing, but maybe, you know, that Mediterranean is, or maybe right. the Mediterranean isn't their thing, but that, that cruise around Japan is, you know, you, you, you had so many, so many ports of calls. I just thought that was one of the most fabulous parts of your, uh, of your itineraries and the overnight stops. I, I, I just can't emphasize that enough because I see so many um, cruise lines that don't do that. And you know, and, and, right. and sometimes you know, if the cruise leaves at ten o'clock, maybe maybe you're a person that goes to a late dinner, loves to have yeah. a late dinner, and then see the nightlife. And well, you might not be able to do that. Right, in or in Spain and Portugal, where those towns don't even people don't go to dinner till then, so you're missing yeah. out on a really iconic part of the local culture. So, yes, uh, you know, I, I I just think, and then of course the relaxation inside your cabin, which you know, is it a lot of times you're not going to spend too much time in your cabin, but we all like a good nap on vacation. Yeah, but to have a separate <laughs> sitting area also helps. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the day of open the door, fall onto the bed, roll off the bed into the bathroom. You know, you know that that stereotype of the of the size of the cruise rooms. Obviously, at three hundred, I think you said seventy six feet or something of that nature. You know, yeah. that's 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 a little over half the size of my very first condo that I had. So yeah. You know, that, Yes, that's, that's I live in San Francisco, so I can appreciate exactly what that means. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 really good. So I do appreciate yeah. I do appreciate those items as well. Okay, we only have Megan for another minute or so. So if you have any additional questions, please put them in the chat box now, and we uh, should love to get to them. Of course, yeah, I might I might add to that really quickly that um, about going to so many ports of call. Um, there are some people that are like, I'm not a cruiser, and you know, to be honest, I didn't think I was a cruiser either but when you're on a vessel with just you know 250 people and you're sailing around French Polynesia or you're going to the Azores and the Canary Islands going round trip from Lisbon these are places that you will not get these little isthmuses and these little remote places unless you're on a vessel and I kind of learned that that I completely understand there are some places people want to go to a villa in Italy perfect 
Um, but there's so many destinations, if you don't think of yourself as a cruiser, that will be accessed tremendously better if you are on a small luxury boutique experience. And I had to go on one to realize that because I was kind of an antique <laughs> cruiser and that I got proved wrong, very, very wrong. And so I think opening your mind, if maybe that's not always your forte, that there are places on this planet that you will get such a better um, snapshot of a destination if you try one of our experiences. So, so, so they hooked you is what you're saying. They threw the fishing pole out there. And yes, they I'm, I'm hooked. Yeah, I'm very hooked. Yeah, it's an expensive <laughs> hobby, but what are you going to do? <laughs> There's, there, there is something else in the chat. It also has to deal with the Hermitage excursion and they just okay. want to know if it's a half day or a full day. And is it a guided tour? And is it entering before the museum is open to the public? That is such a wonderful question. I so appreciate the detail. Um, so, okay. So there's a couple components to it. I, If you want to get that client's information, I can get more details. I know that we are there overnight. So I think we have the option for half day or full day. Um, and the way that the tour um, is experienced, it's kind of a, a self-guided. We do offer, um, I know that we have small group guided tours additionally. I am not sure if they're included or if they're additional, um, even when we're including short excursions. So if you wanna get that client's information, I can, make sure I give the correct answer for all the components and then I can send that to you, Jim, and you can forward that on. Because no I don't want to I don't want to get the information wrong, especially since June 1 of next year, everything's included. So I want to say what is I want to say both answer, you know, I want to be able to give the correct answer for both dates. Perfect. Okay. So if you could please reach out to me, just shoot me an email at my travel wizards email address, which can either be Jim at travelwizards.com or travel at travelwizards.com and I will get that email over to Megan and she will find out all of the information for you on that particular yes happily I just I want to always make sure it's accurate so and, and if somebody has a question that comes up tonight as they're eating dinner and I agree with you Megan when you showed that video I, I started getting hungry and I and I've said this before on other wizards world that maybe 4 30 wasn't the right time to have these things <laughs> right we're so hangry and ready for dinner yeah. well, you know but people think of questions later on in the evening or maybe tomorrow or next week if you do have questions please reach out to either myself or your travel wizard advisor and we will be able to find out from Megan those answers if we don't already know it ourselves so please, please reach out to us. We know that questions don't end just tonight at the end of this webinar. So well, I don't see anything else in the chat, Megan. So thank you very much for coming back and having another successful Wizards World with us. We do appreciate that. And for you regulars and for you newcomers, because I did see a name or two that I hadn't seen before. Thank you very much for attending. I did want to let you know that we are going to take two weeks off from Wizards World. Our office is going through some changes with some new computers and a new phone system, and my focus will be there for the next two weeks. So I will not be able to host these uh, Wizards World, but we rest assured we are coming back on Wednesday, I believe it's July 14th, with the uh, with a, with a, uh, a tour of Italy. We're going to do some, some uh, villas and things and nice hotels in Italy. So hopefully we're able to see you then. Again, Megan, thank you very much. And for you attendees, thank you again very much. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks with Italy. Thank you very much and good night. Thank you, everyone. Take care.